Hi pals and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. I'm Antonov2 and today I've got a replay for you guys lined up in the AMX 50 Foch 155, the tier 10 French tank destroyer. I absolutely adore this vehicle. It's, it must be one of my favourite tanks in the game, if not my favourite vehicle. I At the moment I'm stuck at tier 9 in this tank line on the live server. I mean, no offence meant to the Fosh. The Fosh is an amazing vehicle at tier 9. It's really great, but you know, it's just no comparison to this body here. It's got a 40 second reload in between clips, but when your clips reload it, you can deal out 2600 damage on average in 12 seconds, which is just absolutely ridiculous. You can, with above average damage rolls, you can you can kill every tank in the game within 12 seconds. You can even kill a mouse completely with full health within 12 seconds. <laughs> okay, so fighting vehicle 215B up front. I have to quickly draw to cover here because my side armor doesn't exist. I've got 50 millimeters of side armor and his HE shells will just absolutely wreck my tank. But I managed to get to cover. I fired one shot. I, f ah, I fired a shot of a bat shot. That guy there. Okay, let's see if we can finish him off. Ah, I miss. The penetration of this tank is nearly as good as on its predecessors. 0.36 is not all that amazing. So I'm just going to spend my last shot on that IS-4971 damage. And I track him. But now the mouse tracks me too, but I think I'm pretty safe here. So I'm just going to stay here till my track's repaired. And... And that's one great thing about this tank, it's got really, really good frontal armor too. It's got 180mm slope back very well. They're tier 10 heavy tanks, but wish they had that good armor. Okay, so I'm kind of having problems here. Uh, should I turn around to the other side? No, I have to really help this fighting vehicle 215B here. Okay, this is quite an attack and I have to reload, 40 seconds reload. But I'm nearly through and then I will have 2600 damage at my disposal. So, okay, we could kill this T-123 with one shot. And, okay, okay, and... Yes! Okay, good. Now there's only the IS-7 left. And we can pretty reliably kill him with our two shots that we've got left in the clip if we make both of them count and penetrate. So, okay. Is he going to poke around the corner? Ah, he's playing it safe. Okay, this is going to be a real problem. Fighting vehicle and with IS-7. We have to prioritize the fighting vehicle, really, because he can deal out that much damage. So, I get one shot. Ah, that was really lucky. That artillery helped me out there. That means that I've still got one shot left over now for the fighting vehicle. That was just in the ideal moment. Okay, so aim for the low glaciers and yes. Okay, that was really good. Three shots, three kills. That was just ideal. And thanks a lot to the artillery there. Okay, that I really have to, you know, grant that to the artillery. That was really, really good there. He just shot exactly when I needed it. Okay, so let's see. It, it's not looking all right, but it's, everything's open still. That Jagdpanzer E100 has got three kills. On the enemy team, he seems to be pretty decent. The Fosh is doing pretty well on the enemy team. The score's 87. Still, you know, it can still swing either way here. Nothing's decided yet. And I'm pretty sure there's this fighting vehicle up there, so I have to be careful. Because again, if he's firing Hesh with my side armor, he doesn't even have to hit me and I'm going to be wrecked. Oh my god, he's being sneaky! Ah! Oh my god, okay, okay. Artil I think that was artillery again, wasn't it? Okay, and the E50 goes in. That was really risky. Okay, Yagpan Z100, we can kill him with one shot. And yes, fourth kill. <laughs> Okay, now the score swung definitely into our favourite, 10 to 7. This bat shot could be tricky, but for other tank destroyers, well, we have to be careful here. If we're caught in the open, this could be very tricky. Okay. That's an object 268. We've got two shots left in our clip. Oh my god, there's the enemy, Fosh 155. He seems to be a pretty useful player, but... He isn't concentrating on us, it seems. Okay, look, there comes the object. And okay, look, if we've got it an above average damage roll now, we can finish him off. Come on. And yes, okay, that was really lucky. We got the fifth kill. And I was only this Fosh left. Okay, okay, I hope he doesn't shoot at me. Two shots from him and I'm dead. Even an above average roll of him could kill me. If he's very lucky, I think. Okay, so, yeah. Very lucky there about my allies, but maybe he had to reload, I'm not sure, but he didn't shoot at me, so that was very, very lucky. And now there's only the bat chat for fighting vehicle, and 
for artillery left. Okay, so the fighting vehicle spot for Bat Shot as well. Looks like he's AFK. He's still in the spawn point. Still have to reload, but not for long. I can't really get any shots of a fighting vehicle. So, let's see. Where are you, Mr. Bat Shot? Oh, uh, hello. Yeah, he must be AFK. Okay. Oh, no, he is an AFK. Oh, my God. He knocks out our gun. Okay, reload, reload. Come on, reload, reload. Okay. Okay, and ah, we could have gotten the top gun there, but let's see, the object 140 got him. Okay, we've got one shot, the last shot in our clip, and who it's for the artillery. Okay, come on, please, please. Yes! <laughs> we got the top gun with the last shell in the clip, <laughs> and the kill was on artillery. Okay. <laughs> that was a worthy game of the Fosh 155. Oh my god, six kills. <laughs> and the article at the end. Okay, that was a really, really good game. And I hope you enjoyed it. So, let's see how we did in that one. Oh my god, this was an absolute monster game. We got 120,276 credits. That's amazing. I mean, this is just a standard tier 10 tank. This is no premium tank. You get no credit bonus, okay? We had a premium account, but, you know, except for that, no modifications. <laughs> 120,000 credits. And 6,723 experience. We got a Reaper medal, a Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker on the test server. And let's see what I think it's Master Gunner, yeah, Master Gunner badge and a top gun with the article right at the end. <laughs> and oh my god. You know, we were we didn't even I didn't fire a single premium round in this entire game. <laughs> okay, have a look at the team score. Six thousand nine hundred and seventy one damage. Oh my god, this is that's seven K damage. That's ridiculous. And we got six kills and 1,401 experience unmodified. And then we got this whole pile of medals. On the enemy team, Yakpanzi 100 didn't do too bad, but you know, you really can't compare that to, to how we played. And we had a very, very big lead to the next player on the team. We nearly got double as much experience than the second best player on the team, this T-75, F-57 Heavy. Oh my god, that was just an extreme game. And we fired 12 shots, of which 10 hit. All 10 penetrated. This tank's got really good penetration. And yeah, I already pointed out, we did this amazing 7,000 damage. Received 5 hits, of which only 3 penetrated and 2 didn't. And you have to keep in the back of your mind that most of the shots fired at us were probably premium rounds. So... Oh my god, is that a result? We received 2,510 potential damage and spotted 4 enemies, damaged 8, destroyed 6 and 3,429 damage was done upon our spotting. <laughs> you know, I, I wish for that, that, those results in a scouting tank. Oh yes, I really, really love this vehicle. I can't wait to get it on the live server. I've already got the Fosh, the tier 9 tank. And in my Christmas holidays, when I come back, I'm probably going to pick this vehicle up. Oh my god, I'm really looking forward to it. And, okay, well, this, these 120,000 credits, it turns out, weren't as good as they looked. Because 40,000 were for an event. But all the same, you know, 80,000 credits is amazing. And yes, we walked around out of that game with a lot of experience. So I hope you enjoyed that game, and I definitely did. <laughs> and 7,000 damage, oh, that's really insane. So, as I said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider rating it or subbing to my channel. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the Fosh. And if you think it's the best tier 10 tank destroyer as I do. Or if you think it's overpowered, do you think it should be removed from the game? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I think it's a bit overpowered to be totally honest with you. But anyway, uh, it's fine with me because so long as I drive the tank, it's alright if it's overpowered. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching a lot. I hope you'll see... One of my next videos and bye bye.